Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. My name is Marcio. As you guys may know, cloud technologies are pretty hot in the market right now. And to be honest, it has been like this for quite a while. And the prediction is that it's going to grow even more in the next few years. Another point is that Google Cloud is in a very peculiar and good position amongst all the other cloud vendors. My question is, why not taking advantage of the momentum and just surfing on this nice wave and using Google Cloud Platform? We are not going to miss this opportunity at all. And this is what we're going to deep dive in right now. I'm going to give you guys an introduction to Google Cloud Platform. Let's do it. Before I start deep diving on the subject, I just wanted to have a ground zero here and answer the question why you should learn Google Cloud or why would you be willing to work with Google Cloud Platform instead of any other cloud vendors such as AWS, Azure, Alibaba or any other cloud provider. There are many in the market right now. To answer this question, let's take a look at this graph here right now. As you guys can see, these are the top three cloud providers. We have here AWS, which has 34% of the whole market. The second one is Azure, which has 21%. And the third one is Google Cloud, which has 11% of the market share. You may be asking yourself, or you maybe want to ask myself, why would I go for Google Cloud if AWS is the first one and Azure is the second one? Why would it be a good move? The answer now is on the next graph I'm going to show you guys. As we can see here, in the last two years, so 2021 and 2022, Google Cloud has 46.5% of growth. It is a lot. It outperformed all of the other cloud providers, such as Oracle, Microsoft, ServiceNow, AWS, SAP, and IBM. So they had a huge growth, and there are lots of companies that are adopting Google Cloud right now. As there are more companies adopting Google Cloud, so there is this raise on the demand for Google Cloud professionals, and also Google Cloud is still kind of a niche, so it's not as mainstream as AWS. The idea is that something which is more rare, they will pay more. Talking about salaries, let's take a look at salaries here on the Cloud Guru. They are a training company specialized in cloud. So as you guys can see here, Google Cloud certification, it pays more than all the other platforms. So it is really profitable to go for a Google Cloud certification rather than going for an AWS or Azure. Of course, there are more jobs for AWS as AWS is more prevalent on the market, but as a niche, Google Cloud will pay more than the other cloud platforms. Now that I may have convinced you that going for Google Cloud is a good move, let's go now and deep dive on a few of the most important Google Cloud services for someone who is a beginner. Google Cloud has lots and lots of different services and it's probably on a range of the hundreds of services and nobody can simply go and learn everything at once. But these are the most common services that people usually want to learn before and that's going to give you guys a good kickstart on the platform. The first service is Google Compute Engine. This, I would say, it is the heart of the Google Cloud platform, which is the computing services. Which that means is this is a service where we can spawn or we can create virtual machines. And it's like a VMware or any other computer we can create to run applications. And a thing that I like to stress here is that the infrastructure that Google sells for the customers is exactly the same infrastructure that Google uses for their products and their platforms, such as Google Drive, YouTube, the Google search engine, and all the other services that Google uses. So it is a an extremely reliable and scalable computing platform. The second one is Google Kubernetes Engine. Kubernetes is a container orchestration platform. You can run all your applications in nodes and make them communicate with each other via their own private network. We can manage that application in a very simple way. Google has also automated way for providing the GKE, which they call the autopilot. The third service is App Engine. This is a computing as a service. So th this is a fully managed computing service. This is more, more focused on the application side. So Google will take care of the whole infrastructure and we need only to worry about the code itself and the application we want to deploy. And the app engine is also available for many different languages such as Java, Python, Golang, and many other languages. Number four is 
Bigtable is a fully managed column-wide NoSQL database, which can be used for large operational and analytical workloads and also provides 99.999% of availability. It's extremely available. Number five is BigQuery. BigQuery is a totally serverless and cost-effective enterprise data warehouse. It has built-in machine learning and BI that works across clouds and scales with your data. Number six, cloud storage. Google Cloud Storage is a RESTful online file storage web service for storing and accessing data on Google Cloud Platform infrastructure. The service combines and offers the performance and scalability of Google's infrastructure with advanced capabilities for security and sharing. Number seven, Cloud SQL. This is the managed SQL service for Google Cloud. It supports MySQL, PostgreSQL, and SQL Server. Number eight is IAM or Identity and Management Services. So this is another piece of the heart of the cloud services for Google. This service allows us to define and to control any security mechanisms who will be able to see which kind of service access. We can manage any kind of security mechanisms with IAM. Number 10, CI and CD. Google Cloud has built and Google Cloud deployment services. These are the CI and CD. This allows us to create our CI and CD pipelines so we can build and deploy our applications Applications, it's quite handy to have everything inside the platform. Number 11, Cloud Firestore. Firestore is basically a NoSQL database that was designed specifically for helping and allowing developers to build web and mobile applications really, really quickly and reliably, which is part of the next one, which is number 12, Firebase. Firebase is kind of a mini platform inside Google Cloud Platform. This product was created to help developers to be more productive and to develop develop and deploy applications faster, such as mobile and web applications. So we can use Firebase to have the security and also to write our code or serverless code as well, uh, using cloud functions or cloud run as well. There are lots of mechanisms to help developers to build, deploy, debug, and have traceability of those applications. Okay, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed my video. Please don't forget to like my video. Also, click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell so you guys will not miss any of my videos. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.